Welcome again everybody. Before I start this lecture, I want to tell you if you are interested in learning more about IIS, managing, configuring, installing, securing IIS and much more, I have a full course Mastering IIS 8.5 on the Windows Server 2012 R2. You can find the link in the description below. If you are interested, go and enroll and let's start together. Alright, in this lecture, I want to talk a little bit about IIS architecture. I don't want to make things complicated, but let's take a look how the IIS is architectured. What components does the IIS have? Basically, the components of the IIS is divided into two main groups. The kernel mode and the user mode. Simply the kernel mode is that component that is built in with Windows and it comes with the operating system. The user mode, simply if you want, is that collection of services and processes that you can manage and handle in the task manager, where they work on a user level. In the main component or the kernel group, we have the HTTP listener. So the main component of the kernel group is the HTTP driver or listener. This driver, is responsible for monitoring and listening for the HTTP traffic on the TCP layer and validating it. While in the user mode, mainly we have the following services, the Windows Activation Service and the Worldwide Publishing Service, or WWW. And both services run in the same SVC host exit process. Mainly these services are responsible for reading the application host configuration file. This file contains the configuration like the bindings, your websites, your data, your application pools and so on. So the www service or the worldwide publishing service will tell the HTTP listener in the kernel group using the HTTP APIs, it will tell it to listen on the IPs and ports found in that configuration file. These IPs and ports simply are the bindings that you configured on your server. As I told you, the configuration file is holding all the configuration that you configured on your server and mainly the bindings. So simply, the www service is responsible for contacting the listener to tell it about the bindings, the IPs and ports that will listen on. While the WAS service or the Windows Activation Service actually will handle the management of the application pools and also the code and the processing operation and execution of the applications. And obviously, since the worker processor or the worker process W3WPXE is inside the application pool, so this WAS service or the Windows Activation Service also will handle the management of that process. This is simply a small introduction or a small overview about the IS architecture components. Thank you for following and see you in another lecture.